Hi everyone, welcome to this session. We will talk about kubectl plugin and how to create one and how to share. My name is Ole Vosch. I'm developer advocate at Avage Cloud. And what I like is helping, sharing, and what I like most is trying to explain complex technical things with simple words and with expression in blog posts, tutorials, video, and even expected books. I'm Gaëlle, and I'm SRE in a French company, in a healthcare company named Doctolib. I'm a cloud addict, and I love to review the Aurelie sketch notes. So why this talk? Aurelie and me, we are completely a fan of kubectl CLI, but it's quite difficult to, to implement it, so we will show you how it's easy to create plugin, to share it, and just to spread, it, to spread it to the world. And in this session, you will have slide yeah. and live demo and many, many, many gophers. Let's start with the beginning. We'll talk about CTL. Oh, yes. A little disclaimer. Every person in, in the world has their own way to pronounce it. Coupe control, coupe CTL, coupe cannon. Don't worry about that. The most important thing is to use it. Coupe CTL is a command line tool that will allow you to interact with the API server of a Kubernetes cluster. It's a very lo lo logical tool. You just have to think or to say out loud what you want, and you will find out that you will type the command instantly. For example, if you want to list the pods, you just have to type kubectl get pods dash n minus space. Or if you want to scale a deployment to five replicas, we will type kubectl scale deploy my deploy replicas five get delete, describe, logs, the kubectl command is very practical. Okay, it's cool, but we are in November. Yes. So, I want pumpkin pie, fun and leaf, hot, beverage, and pumpkin pie, and pumpkin pie. But how do I add some in my pod list, girl? What? How do you I have some in my pod list? Yes, but <laughs> with kubectl <laughs> plugging, of course. Why kubectl plugging? As you know, kubectl um, lifecycle release follows the Kubernetes lifecycle release. So you can't wait a little bit time between improvement. So yes, could be painful. In the world, this world, we have many, many tools. If we focus, for example, in logs, you have a lot of choice. Uh, we have Kubetel, Catel, Stern. Stern uh, is cool. Yes, my favorite is Stern, yes. But we have to choose. OK, and it's difficult to understand them because lots of names. Uh, it's not very, well, it's a little bit random. And how to install them, many ways, happy to, happy to get, and uh, yes, brew. And how to know them, yes, difficult to find them. But we are lucky, we are in Kubernetes world, an extensible world. You can extend most of the component, um, storage, network, but we will focus in our favorite one, kubectl. So, if you, we can take an example. When you want to read a secret on your cluster, wow, it's painful. You have to write a long, long, long command. Um, if I remember, kubectl get secret, yes. my secret. Um, By GQ? GQ, yes, decode, base, decode, oh. 64, yeah. T too long command, too long. Yeah, too long, too long, too long. We are lucky. We, you can create a plugin with a language with, uh, that we, you can build a CLI. Go, Rust, Python, Bash, even Quarkus, Java, yes. So, 
We will follow the receipt of our so cute gopher. Yes. First step, you have to create a file with the name kubectl myplugin. Second step, make it executable. And this third step, very important one, you have to put it in your path to be able to run the last step, kubectl my plugin. After the theory, let's practice. We'll create our super plugin. What do we want? We want to display some seasonal emojis in the result of the kubectl get command in an easy and fast to code plugin and in bash. Okay? Because we are crazy. Completely. We do it in life, but don't worry, we do it step by step. We do the demo and on an average cloud managed Kubernetes clusters that run on the west coast of the US. And if you want, you can deploy the Kubernetes clusters through Terraform, Pulumi, Crossplane, and so on. So if you are interested, don't hesitate to come at the booth and ask for demo. Let's, let's go? Let's All go. Right. Yoo -hoo. Alors, first, we do the demo. Uh, better, better. Is it good for you? Is it okay? Is it okay? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So, I will follow the little recipe of our gopher. So first, I will create my file, my plugin, kubectl 7 I can create it with VI, but what I like is use touch command. Hop. I will try to execute this plugin. Ah, yes. I missed the permission, so step number two, I add the actual permission, I execute it, and now it's working. So the first step is to tell that I want to uh, create a bash, a bash plugin, a bash file. Okay. And yes, uh, yes, I can continue with uh, VI. I like it, Vim, but we can also do it with VS Code. Is it's better. More comfortable. <laughs> it's more comfortable. So, step a lot of top. We, we define our seasonal emoji list. We are in November, so we will have some pumpkin, hot beverage, some fun and leaf, and so on. Okay. Another step. We will regenerate a random emoji. For that, with roundup, we generate a random M integer and we make a modulo above the size of the list of emoji and we use this result as an, an index of our list. Okay, so um, I like to test, so I do a, uh, I do a, a echo. <laughs> okay, I will save it and I will test my script. Okay, it's working, easy, okay, easy one. And another step very important when we do a plugin. What I like is when I use a CLI, I want a help message. I want someone that tells to me how to use it, how to explain to me. So I added a little help message, a little usage, usage that will explain to me how to use it. Okay, I save it. I test again my script. Ah, is it okay? Okay, Kusilip season, I have my message, even if I had the H, help, help flag. Okay, and finally, finally? Finally? Finally, our, uh, our final step. All the intentions of this plugin is in one line. <laughs> yes, only one line. Because for this app, we don't have to uh, write 1,000 of uh, line of code. Only one, only one line, and we follow the KISS principle. Keep it simple, simple, stupid. So first, we will execute kubectl get command, and we'll pass in parameters the argument of the, of the plugin. 
for, for this result, at each beginning of the line, we add our random emojis, this step, except for the name, for the line starting by name and the blank, blank line. And as we are quite picky with Gail, Gail yes. adds the ID to add three small spaces before the name in order to uh, properly uh, align the text. Okay, I will save it. I save my script. It's working again. Okay, and now I want the pod. I want my pod. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I have my emojis in my pod. It's productive. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, oh, okay, it's cool, but um, I want to have this one in, in CoopCTL. Come on, Aurélie. What? Yes. Do you remember what, I, what the so cute gopher says? No. You have to put it in your... In my pass? Pass. Okay. Yes. In my pass. Every time I f <laughs> forget it. Okay. So I, I can do a CP, CP, copy of my plugin in my pass. And now if I tap kubectl season, I want some pods. I have my plugin that, uh, that add my random energy and I want pod and also deployment. Okay, it's working. Yes. Cool. It's cool. More yes. cool. Better, no? Yes, it's cool. Top. Oh, trop bien. So it's really top, but I want to share my awesome plugin to the world. Easy. Okay. Yes, we have an amazing tool named Crew. Crew, it's a package manager for plugging kubectl. What is interesting, in our user side, it can be more easy to find the plugin, to install it, and to update it easily. On developer side, it's uh, easier to share and, and to discover uh, the job of the uh, developers, and it makes easier for them to share the plugin for multiple platforms, like uh, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. How it works? So let's see the help of Crew, but just focus in the first line. Crew, it's a plugin. It's a plugin inception? Yes, inception, yes. So we can dip it the help, we will not uh, explain you all the action, just only the actions that we use every day with Aurélie. The first one, to search a plugin in the index. So you just run kubectl crew search. To see the plugin you have installed on your laptop, easy, kubectl crew list. And when you find a plugin, you can install it with kubectl crew install, the name of your plugin. But if your plugin is not in the index, you are able to install it from your laptop, for example, with crew install, and you give the manifest, we will talk about it just after, and you give the archive. And if it's not on your laptop, no worry, you can use a repository where you store your manifest with crew install and the name of your manifest, the URL of your manifest. The two last commands are very useful for developers. Uh, when you, as a developer, when you want to test your plugin in multiple uh, ways, you use this installation. So, okay, now we develop a plugin, an amazing plugin. We need to create a release, okay? We, we need to write the manifest. And the last and the final step will be to suggest a pull request in the index. Okay. Okay? Go. Okay, let's dip in the manifest file. Okay, it's a YAML file. Yes, because we are in a Kubernetes world. So the First step will be the common uh, field, the meta information. So the name will be season for our plugin. 
Uh, we have the spec part. You will give all your other information about your plugin, the version, the description. And the, another part is a platform. Uh, this part uh, will allow you to give all the platform where you want to share your plugin. So for our plugin, we have uh, macOS and Linux. Uh, you will have to give the URI of your um, archive of your plugin. Very important thing, uh, this archive should be publicly accessible because you will be downloaded. And the uh, SHA uh, 256, sorry, I have difficult with the number in English. <laughs> and the final step, the most important one, will be the binary. So to have the magic happen, this binary you will execute has the Yoda gopher says. So as we are crazy, yes, we try to submit to suggest our plugin. Uh, our first version was the plugin that display Halloween emojis, but it was rejected. Yes, because um, not uh, enough uh, productive. Emojis? Yes. But we try it again. Yes, we suggest the second version, the season, and uh, yes, but it was rejected as well. Yes, because not enough productive. Yes. So, but we have we had a very good advice that was uh, to use private index. It's very very useful when you want to share your plugin. Uh, in a smaller scope, uh, for example, your team, your company. So, yes. So, we did it. Okay. So, we create an index in the repository of Scrally. So, to add it to your index, you just run kubectl crew index at Scrally. Okay. After that, you can run the crew index list. You will see the index near the default one. And you will be able to search in Scrally. Not really in Scrally, but in the index. Yes, in the index of Scrally. <laughs> yes. And you will see uh, the two plugins, the first one, Halloween, and the last one, Season. And you, can, you are ready to install it. So, pro install Scrally Season. Yes. So, obviously, as a package manager, you can update your plugin, your index, sorry. And uh, you can upgrade all your plugin on your laptop, or only one, if you want. OK, now um, let's talk about plugins that we use every day, Aurelie and me. The view secret, do you remember what I said um, at the beginning of the talk? It's very difficult to get a secret in the cluster. So the view secret uh, allow you with a short line to see everything in your secret. Another one is for each. Uh, you can execute a command in a multiple cluster. Could be nice. And the pod inspect, uh, it uh, likes the describe pod, the kubectl describe pod, but without uh, all the field uh, use, useless uh, from Kubernetes API, you only have only what you need, the main information. And NIT, my favorite one, I use it uh, multiple times uh, in a day. Uh, it's to view the YAML of a resource in your cluster, and it's very cool when you want to copy this uh, resource. Yes, with the pipe kubectl NIT, you will be able to get the real resource without all the fields uh, of Kubernetes API. Oh, your mic. I am a um, black hat. <laughs> so, 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 it seems <laughs> that my mic is dead. So, um, okay. Let's finish our talk with best practices. <laughs> okay. Naming of plugin is very 
important. You, uh, it is not possible to create a plugin which have the same name as an exi existing QCTL command. Even if you do that, they will take precedence, so don't do that. Choose a meaningful name that will well explain what your plugin is going to do. Kubectl service, I don't understand. <laughs> no. Kubectl open, what can we open with this plugin? I don't know. But Kubectl open service, okay, I understand. The plugin will open on service, and that's a good way to name a plugin. As we have seen, it is possible to write a plugin in many languages in Python, Rust, Quarkus, Bash, but the common practice is to write them in Go. Why? Yes, I know, Gael, Go first are super cute. Yes. But, but that's not the main argument, no. Oh. <laughs> Go is the language of choice of a cloud native application, Kubernetes, and you can easily generate and create a an executable binary in Go. And the icing on, on the cake or in the gopher, Go have several useful, useful packages. Rather than create a pull request in the crew index each time you update a plugin, you can use crew release bot. And Go either will create for you the releases on GitHub. It will, it will generate the packages in tar, jzip, zip, and the famous, famous SHA256. And for time now, Go, Go Releaser also integrates all the functionalities of CrewDisbot, and it will generate also the crew manifest file. So the good practice is to use it as a, as a stage in a CI CD pipeline. Another good practice, you can check all the video uh, from Scrally uh, channel on YouTube, right? Uh, she explained uh, May many complicated things on Kubernetes, Docker, and but in an easy way. It's a short, it's short video. It's very easy to understand complicated, complicated things. <laughs> yes, and if you prefer reading books, uh, Aurélie have wrote uh, three books now. Yes, you, th this one are uh, for Kubernetes and Docker. Um, she explained in a visual way all the components on Kubernetes of Kubernetes, the complexity of Kubernetes. But it, it, it become easy to understand with uh, with Aurélie. Yes, we can say thank you to Aurélie. And I heard that uh, you will uh, sign some book during this CubeCon. Yes, uh, tomorrow uh, during the lunch break and the uh, c coffee break at the Average Cloud booth S15, don't hesitate to come at the booth because, uh, because uh, um, I, will uh, I will sign and draw in three uh, books about uh, about um, Einstein Kubernetes in a visual way, so, so don't hesitate to, to come at the booth at uh, one fifteen. <laughs> so to resume, we are able to create an awesome and productive uh, plugin. Yes, <laughs> yes, we are able to share it. Uh, in the world, or if you want, in your company or in the team. So it's your turn. Uh, you can create uh, some plugin. You can, uh, yes, just to uh, increase your productivity. So feel free to test it. Yes. Thank you. We love feedbacks, and all the uh, speakers love them. 
So don't hesitate to leave some feedback uh, in this uh, QR code and, uh, and on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and now, <laughs> if you want it. We have some cool uh, stickers, some uh, very, very cool stickers from uh, friends. So uh, don't hesitate to pick uh, one. And uh, we have a little time for questions. So if you want, we are here. Don't hesitate. Who have some questions? <laughs> They want some um, coffee. <laughs> no questions. No questions, so thank you very much.